weightless ant. An ant with mass M is standing peacefully on top of a horizontal stretched rope. The rope has mass per unit length mu and is under tension F. Without warning, cousin Throckmorton starts a sinusoidal transverse wave of wavelength lambda propagating along the rope. The motion of the rope is in a vertical plane. What minimum wave amplitude will make the ant become momentarily weightless? Assume that M is so small that the presence of the ant has no effect on the propagation of the wave. So here is our ant that is is sitting on top of this uh, rope peacefully and as a sinusoidal wave starts traveling through uh, the string the ant will start making this a simple harmonic motion together with the string element that it is standing on so uh, we have a sinusoidal wave with wave function y of xt equals a sine kx minus omega t that is traveling to the right and the propagation speed v is omega divided by k angular frequency divided by wave number which is for sinusoidal waves equal to a square root of the tension which is given as f here divided by mu now what is the transverse velocity by it is the partial derivative of the wave function with respect to time that is minus a omega cosine kx minus omega t and the transverse acceleration a y will be minus a omega square sine kx minus omega t so you can see here the derivative will give us a minus omega, but the cosine derivative gives us minus sine. So this is minus a omega square. And the maximum value of the transverse acceleration is amplitude a times angular frequency squared omega squared, which is a times, since omega is equal to uh, v times k, it will be equal to k square times tension divided by mass per unit length so uh, that is basically a times a is the amplitude 4 pi square f divided by lambda square mu so this is our maximum transverse acceleration now you see that this uh, ant is on an accelerating reference frame because this is performing simple harmonic motion. So we can note here that the ant is on a non-inertial non-inertial accelerating reference frame. All right, so on a crest, that is the peak point in the sinusoidal wave, the transverse acceleration of the rope element is maximum. And that's where the speed is minimum but acceleration is maximum and it's pointing down so that it will be returning to its equilibrium position therefore the ant feels a fictitious force or a ghost force that is equal to mass of the 
uh, and multiplied by the maximum transverse acceleration and it will be pointing up okay so the net force on the y-axis so if we call this axis our y-axis the net force on the y-axis will be equal to the fictitious force pointing up mass times the transverse acceleration uh, minus the weight of the ant mg and this is equal to zero because the ant is not flying away so the transverse acceleration will be equal to the gravitational acceleration now the maximum uh, transverse acceleration is uh, as we have calculated 4 pi square amplitude of the oscillations times tension divided by lambda square mu and this is equal to g so we can find that the minimum amplitude uh, we need is mu times lambda square times g divided by 4 pi square f the tension okay uh, this is so that the maximum a y just matches the gravitational acceleration so you can see the maximum value of the transverse acceleration is controlled by a amplitude so what what is the minimum value of a such that the maximum acceleration matches the gravitational acceleration that's the point where the uh, ant will become weightless all right so we have a weightless uh, we're looking for a weightless ant this ant was sitting peacefully on top of a horizontal rope which is stretched under tension f has mass per unit length mu uh, cousin Throckmorton starts a sinusoidal transverse wave with wavelength lambda propagating along the rope and uh, the motion of the rope is in this vertical plane so this is our y-axis what is the minimum wave amplitude that will make the ant become momentarily weightless and m has no effect on the tension of the wire or the propagation of the, uh, the wave now we have a sinusoidal transverse wave so that's a, a a sine kx minus omega t if the wave is propagating to the right on the x-axis the propagation speed is related to angular frequency omega divided by wave number k square root tension over mu f over mu and the transverse velocity is del y del t which is uh, the derivative with respect to time minus a omega cosine kx minus omega t and transverse acceleration is minus a omega square sine kx omega t maximum transverse acceleration is a omega square which is a uh, v square k square because omega is v times k and uh, v, v square is f over mu and k is 2 pi over lambda so it's 4 pi square over lambda square now this ant is in a non-inertial accelerating reference frame because it's performing uh, the rope element on which it is sitting is performing simple harmonic motion and uh, the transverse acceleration of the rope element is maximum when we have the ant on a crest and it's going to be pointing down so that it will be accelerating down to reach the equilibrium uh, value equilibrium distance and therefore the ant will feel a fictitious force at that point which is its mass times the transverse acceleration pointing up uh, and mass times the gravitational acceleration is the weight of the ant actually for any point uh, on the wave it will be feeling this this will have the maximum value on the crest so in order to require a y is equal to g 
we will look for the minimum amplitude that will make the maximum transverse acceleration equal to g. So this is basically 4 pi square a f over lambda square mu is equal to g. So minimum amplitude, minimum value of a that will give this condition is mu lambda square g divided by 4 pi square f. So the maximum transverse acceleration just matches the gravitational acceleration uh, with this minimum uh, amplitude so this will enable a momentarily weightless and at that point in time.